Hey Leo, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing amazing. This is your general love reading for April. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love. I have some tarot as well as some oracle cards. It won't resonate for every Leo out there, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest, check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also head right over to my Etsy shop, favorite my shop. I have oracle decks, personal readings there, um, as well as spiritual jewelry, all right? Thank you all for your love and support for getting me to 100,000 subscribers. I am so incredibly grateful for your love and support. So thank you all um, for subscribing. And if you have not yet subscribed, think about doing it. Plus uh, that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell so you know when I upload your reading, I do all the zodiac signs. So there's just really no saying when I'll do your reading. It's There's just no schedule, okay? Whenever I have time, I just go ahead and post. So let's get into your reading. Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am going to start off with some Divine Love Oracle cards, okay? I feel the need to. This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. It is available for immediate shipping, so take advantage. Um, I don't have any sales going on right now at the moment, but um, yeah, this is one of my newest decks, so I hope you guys like it. All right, let's, let's see. What is going on with Leo? All right, we have Interference, okay? Interference. So some of you guys, there could have been some interference within the connection, whether it's third party, family, friends, meddling, external influences. Um, in, I'm sorry, external influences or parties have caused distractions and disarray in this connection. So yeah, there's definitely been some distractions here of some sort. We're gonna see what that is all about. Ooh, okay, we got a card that flew out. Acceptance. Accepting the situation can allow the release of any stuck energy. So I'm almost I'm almost hearing surrender, right? Accepting something the way it is. Um, Leo, that could be a challenge for you. Surrendering or accepting a situation. Um, accepting this person is who they who they say they are, right? Sometimes we don't like to believe people when they show you their true self. So some of you guys are stuck. Maybe you're trying to make a decision on how to move forward with this person. All right, let's see. Let's get one more card here. And we're going to jump right into your reading. Ooh, okay, we got two more cards. Spirit says two more, two more. <laughs> All right, we have self-esteem. Um, someone is questioning their self-worth and or abilities. Um, so Leo, you could be feeling like, you know, you're questioning yourself, right? You're questioning, am I good enough? Um, does this person love me? And, you know, don't ever, don't you ever, okay? So self-esteem, this person may be affecting your self-esteem. Certainly if they're dealing with someone else, that definitely could, you know, make you feel some kind of way about yourself, right? Like, am I not good enough, right? So the judgment card is here as well. Someone may be trying to make a judgment call or a decision. A final decision will be made that will bring some finality to the current situation. All right, so we're going to see how this is all going to play out. All right, let's jump right into your reading. Let's get one more good shuffle. I did shuffle before I started. Spirit says two more. <laughs> all right, let's get into your reading. Leo, Leo, Leo. What is the current energy surrounding Leo and their person? Your bonus reading is up on Vimeo for mid-April. How does your person feel? So check it out if you're interested. You yeah, look at your energy, Leo. We got the Sun card here, the Two of Pentacles, and the Strength card. You're all if in your reading today. The Strength card is Leo energy as well. Um, so yeah, there's a situation here where you're trying to be strong through it all. I feel like there's someone who you're going back and forth about, should I, or should I not? This is someone who could have been juggling you, Leo. And I think that now there's some kind of clarity or there's some kind of truth here that's allowing you to maybe make a decision because I feel like whoever this person is, there's a decision that you've been wanting to make for a very long time. Maybe you had this gut feeling, okay, um, that there could have been some interference, right? You know, with the two of pentacles. Someone was definitely, I think, playing around, playing games, being wishy-washy in and out, okay? And you guys are really trying to be real, trying to figure out, well, what, where is this going? What are we doing, all right? Um, the strength card with the sun is definitely telling me that, Leo, you're definitely the one who may be questioning yourself or your self-worth or your self-esteem or something. Your self-esteem may have taken a hit. Okay, but I think that you guys remember with the strength card, it's not just about physically 
um, being strong. It's about mental uh, mental strength, willpower, right? You know what, what you stand for. You knowing who you are, what you are worth, okay? And that sun is some kind of clarity, some kind of breakthrough. We're going to see how this all plays out. Give me the past energy for Leo. Leo in their person. We got the four pentacles, the ace of wands in reverse, and the lovers in reverse. Some of you guys are connecting with a Gemini, okay? What I'm seeing is that whoever you're dealing with, they could have been very um, stingy, okay, Leo? This is someone who was like, me, 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 my, my, mind, not letting you in. It's like, no matter how much you put yourself out there or you, you know, you, you engage with this person or, you know, I'm just getting like, this is someone who was very standoffish or pushed you away. They were very um, stingy with their time, their energy, their money, their emotions, their love, right? And I'm seeing that's why something here didn't move forward or wasn't able to get off the ground. The Ace of Wands in reverse is telling me this is something here that could have started very quickly and then end it very quickly. It didn't have the fuel, the fire, the passion to keep moving forward. And I'm seeing that there is a decision. Again, the lovers is here. You guys could have had this incredible passionate connection here with this uh, wand and the lovers, but it's telling me that when it came to really getting to know who this person is on a deep level, this person wasn't letting you in. They were blocked. They were holding back. They were emotionally void. They were empty, right? And it's like you were pulling teeth, I'm feeling. But the lovers is a decision. Some of you guys are making a decision based off of what the energy, you know, based off of what this person's giving you. Some of you guys, um, if there is some interference, you know, you're deciding to perhaps walk away or let this go or, you know, surrender and realize that, you know, if this is for me, then it'll come to me. But maybe we're not meant to be together, right? So there's a decision that maybe you guys are having to make. The judgment card and the lovers is a decision, okay? And it's causing you to be strong. Um, and it's a decision that you've been thinking about for a very long time. Yeah, this is your energy. Look what came out. And I wasn't even done yet, Leo. So the five of pentacles is in reverse for your energy. So it's telling me, what is this? Yeah, it's telling me you guys, see, you're feeling as if this person hasn't really given you all the attention like you're missing something right something's missing and you feel it you feel like this person hasn't been paying you much attention they've been leaving you out in a cold you may feel unwanted unappreciated sometime right with the self-esteem card and it's telling me that you guys are at a point where you're realizing something has not been able to move forward some of you guys the communication has been very off the eight of wands and reverse this is delays this is like you reach out you don't hear from this person for days weeks at a time and overall the energy is just slow nothing's moving it can't get off the ground it can't progress and so a lot of you guys you feel like you're in a relationship or in a connection but you feel alone you feel lonely you feel by yourself right what the hell you know so that is the energy i'm seeing now i'm really going to focus on your person's energy let's see what is what is going on with them right what is their energy what's on their mind their feelings oh okay so right off the bat, we do have someone who, <laughs> Leo, you're in their energy because this is you. This is the king of wands, male or female, masculine, femme, doesn't matter, right? Honestly, this is someone who still desires you. There's a lot of attraction here, sexually, physically. Um, I don't know. I don't see any cups here. Maybe it's just physical attraction. This person, there's something here uh, with the pentacle. It's like they want to offer something, but it could literally, some of you guys, they're only offering you passion, fun, you know, sex, whatever it is. The King of Wands is definitely someone who, um, you know, they're very passionate. They're, they're good looking, okay? It's that energy. But let's see. Let's see. I do see them moving toward you to offer something. But we're going to see if this offer is actually, you know, something really secure in the long run. Like, is it really going to manifest into a commitment or relationship, right? Because some of you guys, you're not just wanting just a friend with benefits or something like that, right? You're not just wanting this person to look at you like a piece of cake, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Is it cake? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. I don't even know any, way, any other way to say that. Um, let's see. Let's get two more cards for your person's energy, Leo. So I feel like your person does want to create something here with you. The, man, the magician card is someone who wants to manifest, right? They believe in a the connection. They want to turn things around. They want to work their magic and woo you over, right? Seduce you and all that. Um, 
you could be dealing with your Gemini who really wants to do that. Um, honestly, the Seven of Wands is still telling me that your person is blocked though, okay? So they're coming in, but the thing is, is that they may be coming in with the same old, right? The same old passion, you know, fun. Uh, I, I, de I desire you, can't stop thinking about you, come here. And then they don't offer you anything. So the Seven of Wands, I think that you guys have to be very clear on where you stand with this person. Because I feel that you have to let them know that, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Um, set your boundaries, be very clear so that this person knows where you stand and you won't get in a situation here where you're not getting your needs met, right? So... Let's see what's coming in. What is the outcome for Leo and their person? Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. Yeah, see, the problem is mm, we got the Empress and the Queen of Wands here. Talking about some interference, right? Because if you're the Queen of Wands, Leo, then who the hell is this? I'm just saying, right? Um, some of you guys, there is another situation here that they're nurturing, that they're catering to, that they're, there may be another lover, okay? It doesn't have to be for all of you guys, but that could be the reason why something hasn't really taken off, right? So if you're not in a commitment or a relationship with this person, that could be the reason, right? Your person, there's some interference, there's some distractions here, and your person hasn't really made that final decision because they're not coming to you with a, a, the commitment or anything solid, Okay, let's build. Let's let's make something happen. Let's get one more card. Yeah, and for some of you guys, see, there's another queen coming up. Okay, um, they're not communicating the way that they should. There's still something here that either they're not telling you. Okay, they're lying to you. Where they may say something, but it's like far. It's <laughs> It's far from the truth, right? Like two truths and a lie type of thing. Or this is just someone that's just not being upfront, totally upfront with where things stand. Okay. So let's clarify. If this is your reading, like your comment, subscribe, and check out your bonus on Vimeo for mid April. All right, let's get some real, real clarity on the situation here. We got the sun and the strength card for you, Leo. That's your energy. You guys are really, um, I think you guys are doing a lot of thinking, trying to be strong through this. I think a lot of you guys see happiness, see harmony, see peace with this person. But, but you, you also want to know where you stand. You want to know. You don't want like the blindfold on. And the sun is about, you know, becoming clear, getting enlightenment. All right, let's see what the sun, the strength card, what's this about? The two of pentacles. There's something here that someone is sacrificing or thinking about letting go. Yeah. See, see, Leo, there's something that you're finding the truth out about. The queen of swords is clarity. Some of you guys are wanting some kind of communication with this person because if you guys have had communication, you could have felt like they were holding back or they weren't telling you the entire truth. And so with that queen of swords, that's what she does. She's like... Let's get to the bottom of this, chop chop. Let's let's really find out what's really going on. The star in reverse is some of you guys are not so hopeful, or you just don't believe this person. They're not believable to you, right? It's like you you envision things a lot differently, right? The star. Some of you guys are done with an Aquarius. This is about dreaming and hoping and wishing something to manifest, um, and it hasn't. And it's it's caused a lot of stress to you leo a, a lot of sleepless nights a lot of worries you've been up in your head about this a lot with this person and it's because there are things that they do that it keeps you kind of like wondering like why would they do that or what how do they really feel right you guys have perhaps been living in the dark but something is coming to light the sun clarity illumination this is a big revelation something's being revealed okay all right, so let's see. Aquarian energy, we got... You guys could be dealing with another Leo as well. This, the, your energy is very strong, but I think it's just you being in this very empowering energy where you're like knowing what you want. You're really putting yourself out there and you're committed to your values and your beliefs and what you want. In the past, we got the lovers, the ace of wands, the four of pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini. See, in the past, there was something here that it looked promising, but then... <laughs> You glance at it again and it became, it, it's like the Ten of Pentacles, you guys had great potential, right? You could have saw this person as someone you can marry, you can settle down with, but then 
your person did something that destroyed this or they could have been very sneaky with the seven of swords they could have did something behind the scenes um and it ultimately it jeopardized or sabotaged this connection in some way ace of wands came out in the verse the tower is here so whatever happened in the past it caused a tower moment right it caused something to stop moving it caused destruction chaos drama um something here could have been revealed right that caused this tower moment and it's regarding someone you know not doing right you know up to no good okay then lovers came out in the verse and that's why something here wasn't able to manifest or come together all right so yeah you you and your person had something great going but i feel like your person did something to ruin it all okay in a matter of like a second I mean, a few seconds here. So let's see. Um, King of Cups, the King of Swords in reverse. I feel a lot of you guys, you have so much love for this person, but you're also not going to turn a blind eye to something that they've done. Right? And you've had a lot of time to think about it because you've been in this Five of Pentacles energy where you've been, you know, by yourself, alone, feeling as if like you're the damn third party, feeling like just a number. Um, and it's telling me that, you know, things haven't been moving forward and this isn't what you want. Right? Delays, something here being stuck. Um, some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also got air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What I'm seeing is that honestly, this is someone who has not, again, I'm going to just reiterate this. They have not been a hundred with you. Okay. And if for some of you guys who don't know what that means, they have not been completely open, honest. They have not kept it a hundred. All right. So let's see what's going on. Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Magician. Yeah, this is someone who is definitely likes to have their own way, right? This energy, I'm feeling it's like my way. This is the way I want it. Very selfish, self-catering. Yeah, see the Magician card came out in the verse. Y'all know what this is in tarot, right? The Master Manipulator turns around situations for their own good. They like things to work out for them but they don't care about anyone else right they'll just betray you in a second so this is someone who manipulates they like to you know turn things around to their own benefit we have the seven of pentacles and the four of swords in reverse so now what i'm seeing is your person <laughs> see they're going to get to a point where they're going to be doing some reflecting and thinking right the four of swords resting introspection trying to find peace of mind there's some conflict here that they've started and they're going to be thinking about it because you know how you uh i'm, ge I'm getting like they're going to be falling in the hole that they dig for themselves they like they may have tried to set up something here okay but they're going to fall in it because now your person is it things are turning around and the manipulator is the one who's going to be getting manipulated okay because what they're doing is not right and i do see there's a lot of stress now that they're feeling they're looking back at the situation here with you leo and they're feeling like well damn i did wrong but i i should have invested better i shouldn't have done this x y and z right what are they so damn stressed about yeah because there was this was dumb Giving a little bit here, giving a little bit there, entertaining other parties, inter interference. This is breadcrumbs, right? They gave you breadcrumbs. Where a card that turned around. Yeah. And now your person's going to realize that there was an opportunity here that they had with you. And now that it's being missed, right? They rejected someone who there was great potential. We had the Ten of Pentacles we were coming from. Who gives up the damn Ten of Pentacles? Tell me, right? So let's see what... what the outcome is we got the queen of wands the empress the queen of swords and reverse who are all these people walking away look at that this couldn't be any more clear leo you're having to walk away from a situation here that just is not bringing you justice right it's not bringing you a victory here the justice card came out in reverse it's imbalanced it's unfair it's just one way it's sideways it's lopsided it's whatever you want to say it this person hasn't treated you the way that you deserve to be treated and so what you're doing is that you're walking away to get to your ten of cups your happiness your whole your um your complete happiness and abundance right um the chair in the verse is something here not being able to move forward not being able to be victorious so 
I feel a lot of you guys with this acceptance card, you're accepting the situation the way it is, right? Things have been stuck, okay? You're realizing that. And it, again, a lot of you guys, it's because there was so much damn interference, whether it's people meddling or, you know, just there's some interference that caused um, distractions. It caused this connection to go down a different way than it should have. Um, and we have the judgment, right? You're making a final decision. And for a lot of you guys, the final decision is going to bring some kind of finality to the situation because someone is deciding, you know what, I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to let it go because you ain't doing me right. The justice in reverse and the chariot. This is not the way I envision things and this is not what I'm looking for. This is not a victory for me, okay? Um, so that is what I'm seeing. I know tough reading, but that is the energy. Um, I'm going to... Let me get a few cards from the um, Soulmates and Separation for you guys. You guys have seen this deck. It's on my Etsy shop. Let's see what this person got to say. All right, what do they got to say for themselves? Um, check out your bonus reading on Vimeo mid-April if you're interested. I spend a lot of time thinking about and wishing things were different. Thinking about you and wishing things were different. So they're going to realize it afterward. They're going to realize the hurt they caused you, um, the sabotage that they caused. All right. Um, there is no good reason for the way I acted. I wish I can apologize. So if they have not apologized yet, they want to because they realize that what they did was so wrong on so many levels, right? Um, we also have, I know I failed you and I let you down big time, big time. Oh yeah, they did. So that is what I have for you, Leo. This is a little bit of a longer reading. Um, thank you. <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead and treat you guys a little bit, but thank you for your, um, for, all of your support for what I do, my craft, my work. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Leah, you have a great remainder of your day. All right. Take care.